Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. Today is day number 11 of our 31 days of holidays. So today I have some things I purchased while in Dallas, but I also have something interesting to share with you guys. I don't think I've ever talked about it before, but I love to read. So that's like one of my pastime hobbies. I like to just sit down with the dogs and chill and read a book. So I did start a little reading collection. So I wanted to share some books I got. Um, there's not that much I pers I actually got in Texas because I only took a carry-on bag. So we did go to Texas for a couple days. We were there to enjoy, of course, Texas by itself. But then we also went to a Dallas Cowboys game. It was my first pro game I've ever been to, which was really cool. The stadium is huge. We went to Texas Live, which is a... It's kind of like a restaurant, but there's a bunch of restaurants in there. And then um, there's like TVs uh, like everywhere. It's just a huge deal in Texas. So it was cool. So I just have some things I want to share with you guys. We did go to the mall and I got some things from the mall. I actually made something at the mall. It's a makeup item. I've never done this before. I know I saw this item be made, I think in New York. I think somebody else did it. I think maybe Sadie and maybe had done this before. I can't remember. I watched somebody on YouTube make this type of thing uh, in New York. So let's start with some things I purchased to wear to the game. Oh, first let's see. Hold me closer, Tiny Prancer. Hold me close, Tiny Prancer. Okay, so the first thing I picked up is this sweater. You guys, if you are following me on Instagram, you probably saw me wearing this sweater at the game. So I picked up this sweater. It's by Wear. It's by Erin Andrews. I'm not sure. Um, the front of the sweater looks like this. It just has the cowboy star on here. And then the back of the sweater is what's the cutest. It has the Cowboys logo or the Cowboys name on the back of it. It's just a blue and white sweater. I love this sweater. It is so comfortable. It was like perfect for in Texas on that day because typically Texas weather I think is kind of like ranging. It goes like really high, really low. So Unfortunately, the day we went to the game, it was pretty cold, so we needed some things to keep us warm. So I also got this to go along with my sweater. I got a toboggan or a, what do some people call it? A toque? Is it a toque? I think that might be what it's called. So it has the NFL logo and then Cowboys NFL. It's cute, but let's be honest, I have a really big head and whenever I wear a toboggan, it just never looks good. I never look cute like everybody else when they wear their cute toboggans. I just don't have the head shape for a toboggan. When we went to the game, uh, sitting on our chair was a little towel, so everybody got one of these. It's just the little towel that you, you can wave around when you're cheering on the team. And luckily, I cheered for the Cowboys because they won. So there was tax, it was the Cowboys versus the Colts, I believe that's who it was. I need a sip of coffee. Oh, let me show you guys my coffee cup. I just brought my coffee up here. Um, it's got lipstick on it because I did take a, a sip of it. I'm not going to lie. I took a sip while ago. It is, look at this. This is Butt of the Elf, and it's got the little topper to keep your coffee warm when you're not drinking it. So take the little topper off, and you have some delicious hot coffee. Actually, I'm not sure how hot it is anymore. It's been sitting for a little while. Mmm. So good. I love me some coffee. I probably don't need it right now, though, because uh, it's kind of late. All right, so the next thing I picked up is this right here. This is something else we picked up for the game specifically. I wasn't sure if I was going to wear the sweater or if I wanted to wear, like, a sweatshirt. So there was a, quite a few things we went into. I can't remember what the mall was called. I think it was called the Galleria Mall. I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. It's the one that had the giant tree that I shared with you guys on Instagram. So here is the sweatshirt here. This one's super cute as well. It just is a blue sweatshirt with the star on the front. On the hood, it says Dallas. And then on the sleeve, it says Cowboys and it's just a really cute shirt i love cozy sweatshirts so either way i made out with a, two shirts that i can wear anytime basically so all right then oh as far as cowboys go the other and last thing i picked up that was cowboys themed pretty sure this is the last thing is an ornament we always get ornaments for our trees whenever we go out of town um for whatever wherever we're staying at like if we go to a different state or a different just area 
I like to get ornaments for our trees to kind of represent where we've been that year and then I'll write on it what year it was. So I got this cute little ornament here. It's the little hot coca guy with the marshmallows and it's got the Cowboys logo, like not logo, but their name on it. And it's a team ornament and it was $12.99 and so not a bad price. So I got that to put on our tree. I'll make sure that I put 2022 in that way there. I can remember when we went to the Cowboy Stadium. Then we did go to Lululemon. I went to Lululemon specifically looking for one thing in particular. I love the Lululemon leggings. They're very, very nice. I like how they don't um, like attract anything if they're wearing like black leggings. I don't know about you, but every time I wear black leggings, I feel like everything sticks to them. And for some reason, the Lulu leggings do not do that. I have the Lulu jacket as well, and I really like that. I have the Lulu, um, I think it's called an everywhere bag. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I was looking because I thought I had it laying here, but I don't. Um, I think it's called the everywhere bag. I have that as well. But I wanted this right here. So I picked up this vest. So I picked this vest up right here. I love the design of it. It's got like pockets on the sides. It cinches in so it makes you look nice and trim um, and it was a little pricey. It was $148 so it was expensive but it was kind of like my Christmas gift to myself. Um, it, I got mine in a size 10 so I probably could have gone with an 8. My tree is off. How did my tree get off? Oh my gosh that's how late it is my tree's even turning off. I didn't even realize it was off guys. I need to turn the tree back on. Uh, here we go. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so the tree's back on. Um, but yeah, so I got that because I love vests. I like wearing a vest over top of sweaters. I like wearing them over top of like sweatshirts. I like wearing them over top of like flannels. I just think they're cute. Okay, and then I have a couple things I purchased that are kind of random I'll share with you guys. Um, actually, hmm, let's go back to Texas first. So the other thing I got in Texas is this right here. It's from Lip Lab by Bite. So this is Bite Beauty's Lip Lab. So you go in there and you can create your own lipstick. So I thought that was so cool. They give you a card. I think I have the card in my Lulu bag actually. Let me see. Mm, yes. So they give you a card and then on the card, it gives you different shades you can choose from. It gives you what um, finish you want, You either, whether you want a matte, satin, sheer, or a balm. You can choose your flavor. You can get mango, vanilla, peppermint, or pomegranate. You can choose, again, your finish. Oh, wait, that's two. Those, so if you're doing two different shades. Okay, so I went into Bite Beauty Lab, and I made myself a lipstick. So it was such a really unique process, and it's very interesting. The ladies there were telling me that the best shade like if you're looking for a nude your best nude shade is actually the shade of your your, your boob so if you're looking for your best shade and you want to go to bite beauty lab she had mentioned that some people have taken close-ups of their boob and brought it in to make sure that they get the best nude lipstick i did not do that so don't worry this is not the shade of my <laughs> no anyway so i made one myself and I just wanted something like nude, but also, of course, I like more of a sheer. I don't like a matte lipstick, so I wanted a sheer finish. So I, you were able to pick out your actual tube as well. So I picked the pink. I just think the pink is pretty. It says Lip Lab on the side here. So it says Lip Lab on the side of the tube. And then you open it up, and here's what my color looks like that I made. So she actually made it while I was there. It doesn't take very long at all for them to make it. It is so buttery smooth and I got a sheer finish. So it looks like basically nothing on your lips, which is what I like. I don't like a lot of color. I like something more like a chapstick. So when you put it on just a chapstick with a hint of color, the way there when you put it on, you don't have to worry about if you made mistakes, you can just put it on anywhere. So I got mine in the scent vanilla. It smells so good. It smells almost edible. Oh my gosh, it's so, so good. But Bite Beauty, I think their makeup is technically kind of edible. So you probably could eat it. It's a magnetic closure. So you don't have to worry about it opening up in your purse and like popping out or making a mess. And you're able to name your list, your lipstick that you make. So I named mine, uh, I don't know if you can see it. I named mine Vicious Trollop. And then I put my symbol, my Gemini symbol at the bottom. So it's Vicious Trollop with the Gemini symbol. 
If you have ever watched Gilmore Girls, then you know Vicious Trollop is a lipstick that is talked about in Gilmore Girls, so that's basically why I made that color. That's why I chose that color. I do believe MAC Cosmetics had a lipstick, I'm not sure when, but they had one that was made and it was called Vicious Trollop. So if you have that one, then you're very lucky because that was the one that they were talking about in Gilmore Girls, but I don't have that one and I wanted a Vicious Trollop lipstick, so I now have one. Okay, so we have some random things now to share with you guys. So this is something I purchased quite a few things from Victoria's Secret for as for gifts. But while I was purchasing everybody else's gifts, I saw one thing that I wanted for myself. Obviously, we I think we all do that when we're shopping for others. We tend to end up buying one or two things for ourselves. My earrings are flipped. They keep flipping. So I found this. It's this Cocoa Coffee Kona Coffee Extract Invigorating Body Lotion. So it has coconut oil in it. And it's supposed to smell like coconut and coffee. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I love both of those things. Coconut and coffee probably has to be the, maybe one of the best scents. So, oh, it smells so good. I'm not sure that it smells exactly like that. It smells more like cocoa butter. I don't really smell much coffee in there. Definitely has the coconut though. So if you're looking for a good coconut scented product, they are a delicious. Um, I think they have sales right now with the holidays and season so if you're looking for some of their body products i believe they have some deals going on so i would check them out now while they're having some sales then i picked up some earrings i'm not sure what max is doing on his bed but he's being quiet did you see molly's cute little outfit isn't she adorable oh my gosh she's um in heat so she's got to wear her outfits all right so I picked up some earrings from TJ Maxx because I'm looking for some earrings to go with the outfit that I'm wearing here, here coming up. And I found, I think, what I'm going to wear. But while I was looking, I found some other earrings as well. So these are by Moreno Glass by Dylan Dina. So these are glass earrings. So these have little, they're little hearts, but they're, have, they're made of glass. I thought they were so cute. And these were only... These were $24.99. Holy cannoli, I didn't realize I made that much for them. Well, that's not bad, I guess, though, still. I think Moreno Glass is pretty expensive, though, by itself, so I think these are pricey if you were to buy them definitely anywhere else. These are Gold Foil Made in Italy Bronze. I'm not sure. I'll have to look up the brand. Typically, of course, when you shop things at TJ Maxx, you're getting a better deal. Then I picked up these Betsy Johnson earrings. These are so darn cute. I like how they kind of, like, make them... Um, two different earrings. So these have like the little nutcracker and then it has the Christmas ornament that has a little rose on it. It's like a pearl with a little rose on it. And the nutcracker actually moves around. His everything is movable. So his arms and his legs. And this is typically $52. I got it at TJ Maxx for $14.99. So I just thought they were cute. I love holiday earrings. So the next pair are from Kate Spade and I just thought these were really cute. So these look like a group of flowers. So they're just little, a group of gold flowers. Um, I don't know what these are called. Just says rose gold flower, just says rose gold is all it says. These were normally $59, $59 I couldn't read. And then I got them for $12.99. So here's what these look like. They're just little rose gold flowers. I thought they were cute. All right, and then the last ones. This is the ones I'm going to wear with my outfit. These are also by Betsy Johnson. Um, these are so pretty. These were $14.99, and if you bought them through Betsy Johnson, they'd be $52. These are giant. Well, not giant, but kind of. They're kind of heavy, actually. Snowflakes. So these are some snowflakes to wear for the outfit that I'm planning to wear coming up. So those are the earrings I picked up recently at TJ Maxx. Then, lastly, we're going to get into some books. So I've been seeing, I think it started on TikTok and then Sadie, uh, I don't know what her channel name is. Hang on, let me see. I'll tell you guys her name of her channel because I love her channel. I think she does a fantastic job. Um, let's see. Right now I'm watching Amber Lynn. <laughs> um, hmm. Hang on. Sadie XO is what her channel name is. 
So she is also doing a vlog summer. So if you want to check her out, she definitely does a good job every day. She's got the cutest little boy. Anyway, she had mentioned these books as well. And so that's why I kind of looked into them. I'm not exactly sure which order you're supposed to read them in. So I, I'm going to have to figure that out before I start reading them. I think I grabbed them all. Yes, because I did take one with me to Texas and I ended up not reading it. So the first one that I'm, I think is the first of the series is Ugly Love. These are all by Colleen Hoover. So they're all like New York best time seller books. Well, yeah, all of them are, I think. So there's just different books. It says, I'll give you a back what it says. It says it's not exactly love at first sight for Tate Collins when she meets the tormented and secretive Miles Archer. They wouldn't even go as far as to consider themselves friends. The only thing Tate and Miles have in common is a mutual physical attraction that can't be denied. Once their desires are out in the open, they realize they might have stumbled onto the perfect no-strings arrangement. He isn't looking for love, and she doesn't have time for it. So that leaves just the sex. What they've got could be surprisingly satisfying as long as Tate can stick to the two rules Miles has for her. Never ask about the past and don't expect a future. They think they can handle it, but everything is different when real emotions start to change the equation. So, kind of sounds a little bit like... Um, what was the other one? Fifty Shades, but maybe not as, as dark. I don't know. So this one is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Now, again, I don't know what order these go in, so I'm just going to show them to you, and I won't read the back. So you guys can pot, like check them out if you want to. I just wanted to read you the back of the one so you kind of get an idea of what she writes. Then we have Layla, again, by Colleen Hoover. Then we have It Ends With Us. I think It Ends With Us goes before the one that it's called. Yeah. It goes before this one. It starts with us. So I think this one is after this one. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not positive. I'll have to look it up because like I said, I know there's an order that you're supposed to read them. And this is not all of her books that she has. There's tons more that she has that she's written. I'm surprised I've never heard about this person before. So I'm just very excited to start reading them all. Then we have Verity, which I've heard Verity is a really good one as well. Uh, then I have regretting regretting you so this one looks like um a really good one as well how do you pick up the pieces without glue holding everything together okay then we have reminders of him then we have november november 9th actually november 9th and then we have too late this one's really thick this one's a lot bigger this one's 384 pages what are they typically um are they not numbered okay the pages are not numbered i don't think uh-oh 320 so it says about 320 it just feels heavier i don't know it feels it feels a lot heavier for some reason then we have confess and lastly i have without merit so i have all of these books that i'm going to start reading this is going to be my winter i don't know about you guys but Sitting by the fire, cuts, like cuddling up with your dog or your cat, whatever pet you have, snuggling with them and reading a book sounds pretty good to me. And of course, drinking a good cup of coffee along with it with Buddy the Elf possibly on TV maybe in the background. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's haul. Let me know if you're excited about tomorrow's video. I am excited. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be yet because I've still got plenty to share with you guys. But I did enjoy sharing everything here today. And let me know if you've ever read any of the Colleen Hoover books. And if you know the exact order they're supposed to go in, because I don't know, I'm going to have to figure it out and then probably write it in the inside of the book so I don't mess up and read them in the wrong order. So anyway, let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.